In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. My dear friends in Christ, we come together this day giving glory and praise to our God, and today we recall the example of St. Lawrence, deacon, and martyr. Friends, as we prepare to come forth to the table of our Lord to meet Christ Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we first take a moment of pause. Let us acknowledge our sins, and so better prepare ourselves to more fully celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring all of us to everlasting life. And today we pray glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And so let us pray. O God, giver of that ardor of love for you, by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in his martyrdom, grant that we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, He scatters abroad, He gives to the poor, His righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting resemblance. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear, till he looks down upon his foes. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also my servant will be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sacred Scripture was written during a time when we were largely an agrarian society. And so, so many of the examples, so many of the parables that we hear in sacred scripture, especially in the Gospels of our Lord Jesus Christ and the writings of St. Paul, have to do with agrarian or agricultural examples. And so, we hear a lot about seeds. And we hear today about sowing seeds. Now, when you sow a seed, when you plant a seed, you expect a harvest. Now, the problem is, is that in our modern generation, we plant a seed in the ground and then we stand there for three minutes and when something doesn't germinate, well, we lose interest. We sort of have the attention span of gnats. It's sort of one of the things that has separated us from the agrarian type of society. We expect almost instantaneous results. But think of it this way. If we scatter our seeds far and wide, if we scatter those seeds of love and hope, those seeds of light and joy and peace, those seeds of faith in Jesus Christ, if we scatter them far and wide, imagine the level of the harvest. But if we just scatter them in a very small area, we'll see a little bit of growth. But is that who we're called to be? St. Lawrence, in his example, in his martyrdom, in his ministry as a deacon, scattered seeds of Christ's love far and wide. And in his death, he reaped a beautiful harvest. And his example continues to reap a harvest. Men continue to be led by his example and continue to dedicate their lives in a very particular way to the service of others. That's what diaconal ministry is. The ministry of a deacon is a ministry of service. And so today, we thank God for those people in our life, those deacons in our life, who have scattered those seeds of hope, joy, of love and peace, those seeds of our Lord Jesus Christ in our hearts. We thank God for the gift of their growth. We thank God for the gift of their ministry. And so with confidence that our loving and merciful God always hears our prayers, we present our needs and the needs of this St. Paul family before God's holy altar. For the church, for the people of God, for all who follow the Christ, that will be strengthened and renewed in our love of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who lead and hold power in government, society, throughout the world, that they'll know of God's healing presence today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and suffering that they know of God's mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our deacons here at St. Paul's, for Deacon Mike and Deacon Jim, for Deacon Dave and Deacon Ken, for all those men who have served this community in the past, who have gone to their eternal rest, and for all of those who serve the greater church in diaconal ministry, that they'll be strengthened and renewed by the example of St. Lawrence. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for all of our beloved dead, especially those who we now recall in the silence of our hearts. May they see the face of our loving God this day and live forever with all the saints in light. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and merciful God, help us, your servants, to scatter the seeds of your love, your peace, your mercy far and wide, in everything we say and everything we do, that the harvest may not be ours, but will be for your greater glory. We ask these and all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
And so through the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share the divinity of Christ, to himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And so with humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sins. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings we joyfully make on the feast day of St. Lawrence, and grant that they become a help to our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Lawrence poured out like Christ to glorify your name, and it shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble you bestow strength to bear you witness. And so, with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope with Robert, our bishop, with all the clergy, with the entire people you've gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Paul and Lawrence and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so, friends, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of our Lord be with you always. On behalf of all of us who call St. Paul's our home, may Christ's peace be with you and your household. 
today and for all time. And so may the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to all who receive him. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep all of us safe for eternal life. And so let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that by the homage of dutiful service, which we render on the feast day of St. Lawrence, that it may bring us an increase in your saving grace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you now and always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.